everyone, it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable chubby style kawaii headwig from Harry Potter using polymer clay and acrylic paint. So let's get started. So I first took some white polymer clay and conditioned it. OMG, this part took me forever, but I made sure to separate some for later. And then I rolled it into a ball and pressed it lightly on my desk to flatten out the bottom. I also rolled up the sides and it created this sort of long chubby dome shape. So with that clay I put to one side earlier, I began to shape the wings by making them into two teardrop shapes. So I rolled them into balls, then rolled them on one side and flattened them. Once you're happy with how they look, you can put them to one side and indent Hedwig's eyes with a ball tool. For his Gryffindor scarf, I took some yellow and red clay and rolled these both out into a sheet. I then cut them both into strips and started placing these strips together, alternating between yellow and red. I then gave it a quick gentle roll over with my acrylic roller just to make sure everything was stuck together and then cut horizontally to get one long strip. Now we can wrap around Hedwig's body. I actually ended up needing to use an extra piece of yellow clay because one side of my scarf was a little too short so I simply just used an extra bit that I had, pop this on and then the scarf's done. So I decided to mix together some of the red and the yellow clay to make an orange for the beak. I shaped this into a teardrop shape and then cut off the pointed tip before positioning onto the body. I also cut two tiny sections of light pink clay for the cheeks, rolled them into balls and positioned them on his face as well. Now you can attach the wings. I actually ended up cutting the top off at an angle so they could fit nicely underneath the scarf and then I place them on each side of the body. Of course, you can place yours over the scarf if you want to. I'm using two balls of brown clay for the eyes, but of course you can use any colour that you'd like. So my too much gene took over at this point and I decided on making a tiny letter for Hedwig. Of course, this step is completely optional. It is very fiddly. So I cut out a small rectangle of white clay and made it look like an envelope then shaped a heart out of pink clay and then placed this onto the envelope and then put on his body. Lastly, I used my craft knife and I textured the ends of the scarf. If you're wanting to turn this into a charm, you can put in an eye pin now and then bake according to package's instructions. Once baked, I removed any dust, there was a lot of it, <laughs> with my craft knife and then I used my Liquitex Basics silver acrylic paint and added lots of dots on his wings and his back. So because I'm using paint, I'm then also glazing my charm with UV resin, but I somehow missed the footage for this part. But anyway, your charm is now done. I love it. I think it's turned out so cute and I really hope you liked it as well. So if you do enjoy these types of videos, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye guys.